สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Monday, January 7th, and I'm your host JP m i s t a n s a with the news you need to know. Donations are now rolling in for the victims of Tropical Storm Pabuk, which slammed hundreds of communities and farms across southern Thailand, especially n a k o n s i Tamarat and its surrounding provinces, and claimed the lives of several people. So far, six fatalities were reported after Pabuk made landfall on the Gulf of Thailand coastline on Friday afternoon, including a 57-year-old mother whose body was found shortly after she had gone out looking for her child late on Friday, as well as a fisherman who was found dead in the shores in Patani after his boat capsized. n a k o n s i Tamara were slammed hard, with over 180,000 residents across 23 villages affected. And survival kits, along with provisions, are being given by His Majesty the King to residents and evacuees. With Prime Minister Prayu c h a n o c h a set to visit the affected areas today and lead the recovery effort. In Phuket, the storm had little effect, bringing some rain and winds, but little else over the weekend. And now, an emergency relief center has been set up at the first floor of the Student Activity Center at Phuket Rajavat University to collect donations of everything from drinking water, canned foods, and other supplies for the victims of the storm. You can donate from now until tomorrow, January 8th. For more information on that, check out the link in the description. A 10 w h e e l e d beer truck making a delivery to Patong overturned on the coastal road in Kamala on Saturday night during a delivery run. Police and rescue workers arrived to find the truck on its side at about 10 p.m. near the turnoff to Kamala waterfall, with many boxes of San Miguel beer spilled, crushed, and broken by the side of the road. The 24-year-old truck driver was still at the scene. He suffered only minor injuries. An investigation is now underway. A pickup truck loaded with tiles rolled some 40 meters backwards down a side street off Kata Hill Saturday morning after the brakes failed to hold the heavily loaded pickup on the steep slope, according to the 25-year-old driver. Rescue workers were called to the scene on Soy Suksan 1 on the east side of the hill between Chalong and Kata at about 10:50 a.m. on Saturday. And found the truck on its side in a ditch about 10 meters from the road down the steep hill. But luckily, the driver suffered only scratches to his left knee. The driver told police that he was delivering tiles to Caron going up the hill when a car cut him off, forcing him to use the brakes. But that's when the pickup's wheels pitched up off the road, tilted backwards, and then the truck rolled backwards down the hill some 40 meters down into the ditch. The employer was tasked with making the arrangements to retrieve the truck. Phuket Extra, I'll be right back after this. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Officials at the Pollution Control Department say that the haze currently festering throughout Bangkok is only going to get worse as ultra-fine dust returned to the capital yesterday, with over 20 areas reporting air pollution exceeding safety limits. The acceptable Thai standard of 50 micrograms per cubic meter it was surpassed yesterday as the PCD's air monitoring station found that 21 roads in Bangkok had increasing levels of air pollution, which cause health effects like eye, nose, and throat irritations for the short term, and can even cause asthma if exposed for too long. Officials say that normal face masks will not work as the two and a half micrometer particles are too small. And an influx of out-of-town drivers and vehicles, along with the dry weather and poor air circulation in Bangkok, it's all being blamed for the current Bangkok air pollution. Although officials say you can monitor the situation at the link below. A story making headlines today is that of an 18-year-old Saudi female who, while in transit to Australia to seek asylum, she deplaned in Bangkok and had her passport taken from her. By Kuwaiti and Saudi officials, and now she fears that she'll be killed if she's sent back to Saudi Arabia, according to reports. 
Thailand Immigration Chief Surachet Hakban confirmed that the teen, Rahaf Mohammed M. Agunkan, was denied entry into Thailand and she was confronted by Kuwaiti and Saudi officials soon after deboarding at Suvarnabhum Airport, claiming she did not have both a return ticket or money and the officials took her passport from her. Rahaf took to social media, saying she fled Saudi Arabia because her family was trying to pressure her into an arranged marriage, and they had previously locked her in a room for six months, allegedly, after she cut her own hair, and says, quote, I'm sure 100% they will kill me as soon as I get out of the Saudi jail. She added that her male guardian reported her in Saudi Arabia for traveling without his permission. Human Rights Watch had helped take up her case, confirming much of what she said already. And she was taken to a transit hotel near Suvarnabhum Airport in Bangkok, where at around midnight, she posted a two-minute video from her room showing that she barricaded herself as there were several people, quote, waiting outside to make sure she cannot leave. Saudi Embassy in Thailand and officials in Riyadh have yet to comment. Stay up to date with this story at thepuketnews.com. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket.